New on six on your side. Listen to this number. It is tragic, alarming. The Birmingham City Schools family has now lost 18 students to gun violence in two years. 18 young lives that are over. Their families' lives changed forever. And school leaders today talking about this after another tragic loss this weekend, that of 17-year-old Adonis McQueen, a senior at Huffman High School who police say was shot and killed near his home on Saturday night. We're told he was studying to be a barber. Bria Chapman joins us live and on your side to give us new reaction from the superintendent on this tragedy. Yeah, that's right, Jonathan and Sarah. Like you all mentioned, Adonis McQueen had dreams of becoming a barber. I actually spoke to someone who cut, who he had cut his hair, and he described that young man as well-mannered and very kind. The superintendent says this would have been a big week for McQueen, but Saturday night, that changed. They said he would always carry his clippers in his, his backpack and he would cut hair and he loved cutting hair. Adonis McQueen was a senior at Huffman High School where he was sharpening those barber skills in the school's cosmetology program. This week he was supposed to be taking his credentialing test to be able to to legitimately be a barber. Now McQueen joins the large number of students the district has lost in the last few years because of gun violence. On the one hand, you have easy access to weapons. Um, you have um, young people who may have distorted ideas of what masculinity is. And then, you know, that combination it lends itself to a lot of very bad things happening. In the past, you know, if kids had disagreements, they'd fight it out. Uh, now with the easy access to weapons, sometimes they shoot it out. Dr. Sullivan says it will take all of us working together to make sure young people put the guns down. It, it, it's a tragedy and it's a loss and I, I hope we can as a community can find a way to really address the just the, the violence that we're seeing among our young people. Really make sure our, our young people can, can walk in their neighborhoods who can go out to to parties or, or go to the grocery store without you know it being a life ending event. Yeah, again, this shooting happened on Sherry Lane, just a few steps away from McQueen's home. Right now, police have made no arrests, and they ask if you saw or heard anything to please contact them. And remember, no tip is too small in helping them solve this case. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.